This illustration is about understanding of equilibrium under static friction. Here we are given that the figure shows two blocks placed on a rough horizontal surface under the action of two forces F1 and F2. And here we are required to find the tension and string and friction acting on the two blocks. We are also required to solve the problem when the values of F1 and F2 are changed. Now, in this situation, first we'll calculate the limiting friction acting on the two blocks. Like for block A, we can write limiting friction as F A, which can be taken as mu n, or the normal reaction here is equals to the weight of block. So this can be written as mu one m g, and that can be written as point one multiplied by two multiplied by ten, and that is two newton. And similarly, friction limiting friction on block B can be written as here also. I can write F A L and F B L. So this will be mu two m g, and the weight is changed here. So this is zero point two multiplied by three into ten. So this will be six newton. Now, if we draw the free body diagram of the two blocks, here we can write in first case so when the value of F1 is 1 newton and the value of F2 is 8 newton. Obviously, as the second force is more, it have a, this block has a sliding tendency toward right. So, we can draw the free body diagram of A. So, this will be experiencing toward right the tension and toward left the force F1 and the value of F1 here is 1 newton. And for block B, we can see toward right it is experiencing F2, which is 8 newton. Toward left it is T, and the limiting friction at B is 6 newton. And here you can see as 8 newton is more than 6 newton, it has a sliding tendency toward right, so it will experience friction, which is limiting, and that is equals to 6 newton. But still, in this situation, we can see if the block will be at rest, then we can write the value of tension can be equals to 2 newton, so that the system will get balanced. And here if tension is 2 newton, and the force F1 is 1 newton, still the difference of force is less than the limiting friction. So, it will not slide and we can see both the blocks will remain in equilibrium. Here we can also state the net external force acting on the system is toward right it is 8 newton, toward left it is 1 newton. So, effectively a 7 newton force is acting on it and the total limiting friction for a sliding of these blocks is 6 plus 2 8 newton. That means the blocks will remain at rest. So, here we can write for equilibrium, we can write T plus 6 is equals to 8. This implies the value of tension will be 2 newton. First block, block A, as T is 2 newton, it will have a sliding tendency toward right. So, friction will act on it toward left. Say this is F A. So, here we can write F1 plus F A is equals to T. This implies the value of friction acting on block A will be T minus F1. Here, T is 2 newton minus F1. We are given with 1 newton. So, this is 1 newton. As for equilibrium of A, friction is 1 newton, which is less than the limiting value. That means on A, it is a static friction acting. But for B, as external force exceeds uh, limiting friction, so friction on B in this situation will be the limiting value that is 6 newton. So, these are the results for first part of the problem. If we analyze the second part of the problem where the values of F1 and F2 are changed. You can see the difference of the two forces is 9 newton, which is greater than total friction acting on the blocks 8 newton. That means the whole system will start moving. So, here we can write the free body diagram of system as total force on it toward right is 12 newton, toward left it is 3 newton. Tension being the internal force, no need to draw over here. The friction on both the blocks will act in backward direction, which is F A plus F B, that is 8 newton. So, the whole system will be moving toward right with acceleration A, and we can write the common acceleration of blocks as these are moving toward right can be written as A, this 12 minus 8 
minus 3 divided by the total mass of blocks that is 5. So, this can be written as 1 by 5 that is 0.2 meter per second square. This is the acceleration of the blocks toward right. Now, if we draw the free body diagram only for A, it will experience a tension toward right, the force F1 is acting toward left which is 3 Newton. The friction on it as it is sliding will again be the limiting or kinetic friction which is same taken here as no separate value of kinetic friction is given. So, this 2 and it is given that it is moving toward right with acceleration A. So, its equation of motion we can write T minus this 3 plus 2 that will be 5. So, here we can write T minus 5 is equals to M A that is 2 multiplied by 0 0.2. So, here you can see the value of T we are getting is 5 plus 0 0.4 this 5.4 Newton that will be the result for this problem and the values of friction here we can write F A will be 2 Newton and F B will be 6 Newton as the system is sliding. So, the value will be maintained at kinetic or limiting friction.